Okay, welcome to my Linux CNC setup video. Um, if the camera shakes, it's either me hitting it or the doggo running under the tripod. Okay, so, clean install of, uh, of Linux CNC, actually, yeah. Okay. Clean install of Linux CNC, I can't get the screen capture to work, so we're just going to film it on this camera. So, one of the annoying things with it is getting it to automatically log in. That's going to be one of the first things that we are going to sort out. You're going to go launch terminal. And then you're going to run sudo nano and then the forward slash etc forward slash lightdm forward slash lightdm dot config. It's going to request your password for your system. Then it's going to open it here. This took me a while to figure out how to actually do it. But uh, yeah, you're basically going to run down to seat default but where it is in brackets kind of important that you do the in brackets one you're then going to say auto login user you're going to take out that hash oops enter delete and then put your login name so this is for my lathe and then timeout auto login user timeout zero needs to stay zero delete and then to save it it's control zero Ask you to confirm the file name, you hit enter, control X will get you out of it, and you should now have automatic login. We're going to quickly test that, so I'm just going to log out quick, restart the system, and hope it actually restarts. And there we go, she automatically logged in. Okay, the next thing that needs to be changed is you go, well, I like to change, uh, you go to settings, appearance, and you change it to thanks doggo to Xbox dusk that will make your system just look a lot less shit uh, it's not white now it's all gray and black which just makes it look spiffy as hell uh, other thing that I like to change is you come into your settings and your screensaver I like to either set this to an absurd number um, and then I will close it. And then that makes it so that it doesn't come on as often. If you want your machine to open Linux CNC when you boot up, the easiest way to do it, oh wait, crap. The easiest way to do it is to right click on the, the launcher. You go through to launcher, the command line here. You control A, control C, and then you go to applications, set, uh, session and startup and then you go application auto start you add one you pop in the command here control V and just label it Linux CNC okay and now when your computer turns on it will automatically launch your Linux CNC is somewhat functional let me just bring the X access back to its home. Okay, I don't have home switches yet, they're only arriving later this week. Um, but yeah, she's all homed and ready to go. And then we've got the control panel. This is an MDF version 1, there's things that have changed. Uh, I've moved the start and pause buttons over, putting a USB port there. Um, I plan on unclamping my chuck, not unlamping it. And then these have changed. So I initially had spindle override, velocity override. That's now become spindle override, feed override, off, X, Z. And then that'll just be a, a spare for whatever I need it for. But uh, MPG is jogging Bertha. If we look over there, there is Bertha. Uh, let's put Z axis. It is a gang tool, gang tooled uh, CNC lathe. Call it collet style gang tool lathe so let me just there we go just park it back at zero so when I power on tomorrow it's already in position but uh, we'll do a more in-depth video on Big Bertha once Big Bertha is finished so yeah we're buttoning her up almost there got to just uh, put coolant in waiting on VFDs for the spindle and then the spindle can chooch but yeah that's uh, later this week hopefully we'll be running uh, thanks for watching. I hope I could help. 
If not, well, sorry. Uh, but yeah, best of luck with your Linux CNC setups.